I think there are very few films that celebrate, you know, the bigger person. And I think this does it without, oh. like I say, without being patronising. Oh, no films that celebrate the, the bigger queer person. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to Boys on Film. My name is Phil, I'm joined by my co-host Raj Rudolph and we're talking about Big Boys today. Big Boys is a queer coming of age drama that we saw a good few weeks ago. It's taken us this long to get round to putting out our review because we've had so much on, what with Flair and South by Southwest and all the other films that we're covering as well. But this is written and directed by Corey Sherman. I think he's done a few shorts in the past. I've got a funny feeling this might be his first feature. Yeah, so it's about a a young kid. He's kind of a big boy for his age. But yeah, he's kind of just going through, you know, maybe thinking about coming out, trying to figure out who he is um, inside. And he's forced to go on this trip, uh, I believe, with his cousin and his brother. And he happens to just kind of develop a crush on his cousin's boyfriend we've all been there haven't we let's face it yeah we have all been there um (laughs) you know think of like awkward teen comedies you know think of that sort of genre because that's exactly what this is there are so many little cringe moments that have like as i was watching the film i flashed back to a couple of poignant times in my childhood teenage years (laughs) or I might have been caught out for being a little too gay (laughs) (laughs) I love it because it really I mean it handles the subject really well but it doesn't do it in a patronising way it feels really genuine and authentic and I've got a funny feeling that's probably because Corey Sherman is kind of bringing a little bit of himself into this because I, I read somewhere that he he's made the film that he would have wanted when he was a chubby queer teen so I've got a funny yeah. feeling that there's a lot of personal stuff going on and it kind of feels like that as well it feels like it's you know from f- from a good place in his heart I think and it is quite poignant and I, I think there's a lot there, there's a lot of stuff in it that that does make you kind of think back to your own experiences of that time because obviously he's 14 and that's a really difficult time i think for for anyone to go through that but also obviously because he's because he's a gay a gay teenager so i guess he's you know he's got that frustration of being attracted to someone not just being attracted to the same sex and all the problems that come with that when you're that age but also someone that he can't really have because obviously he's already spoken for and he's straight yeah and i love the whole like interactions with his very macho brother trying to force girls on him and how he reacts to all that and you know intimate moments where in his mind he's thinking i don't want to do this but he's trying to play the part of like you know straight kid uh typical straight kid and uh that that whole bit with his brother you know when they're meeting with the two girls and um it kind of starts to go awry and he has to make up excuses and situations to get himself out of you know forcibly having sex with (laughs) someone he doesn't want (laughs) (laughs) so brilliant and he's really good as well it's isaac krasner who plays jamie who's the protagonist um he's obviously going through go through tough times but it, it does celebrate you know big queer bodies and that's i obviously an intention from the writer director but i think a lot of people are gonna you know that it's gonna resonate with them because i think there are very few films that celebrate you know the bigger person and i think this does it without oh. like i say without being patronizing oh, there are no films that celebrate the, the bigger queer person so yeah. i mean next next to nothing so you know although this film you know it's not a huge budget and it's very much on the uh the indie tip um it's a step in the right direction you know i really enjoyed it um even though there were a lot of cringe moments and maybe the cringe moments were because you know i'm i was a, i'm a chubby guy i was a chubby teenager been chubby my whole life but um you know it kind of hit home because I knew exactly how a lot of those feelings felt. And I love the scenes where he's imagining that he's older and he's with, he's with the boyfriend and, um, you know, he imagines what his future life would look like, um, once he gets of age and, you know, actually comes out of the closet. So yeah, it was, it was really cute. 
I think those comedy moments really added to that, the poignancy of it, though, because you do cringe, but you cringe because you really feel for him. I mean, I was bigger when I was a teenager. And so that kind of, like, you know, clicked with me quite a lot and also the whole queerness thing as well. But I, I think that that's obviously deliberate, that, you know, the cringy, cringy moments are there for a reason. And I, I was really won over by it. I was really charmed by it. I think that's down to you know the the realness of the story as well because the story is great and it feels very authentic and i think the performances are i think the performances are fantastic but you really like the people in it and i think that's really important with a story like this absolutely let's have more stories like this i want yeah. more i loved it <laughs> i thought it was fantastic i'm gonna give it four stars I'm going to give it a four or two. That's, that seems about right, you know. It, it could have gone a little bit farther and, you know, kind of broke out of its shell a little bit more, but I really enjoyed it. So Yeah, I think, I, I wonder whether there could be a sequel. Because you do finish the film thinking, okay, so they rounded it off really well, but I'd love to see what happens next. Because obviously he's at that really important part of his life that stage where you know you're just becoming an adult and you're experiencing the adult things and i would love to see maybe i don't know 10 years on or five years on and just to see how how his life is yeah like those first experiences of going to a gay club or yeah exactly all those sort of things that you know you feel as a as a young gay person that um are very life-defining moments now you and I feel we're all we're like, yeah, I've been there, done that. But it's nice to see that, you know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So it's called Big Boys. A big thumbs up from us, uh, Boys on Film. Um, I'm not actually sure the UK release date, but I think it might be out in the States now. I've, I've read somewhere that it was March release date over there in the US. But yeah, who knows? Yeah. Yeah, definitely check it out if you see it listed. I haven't seen a tra- trailer yet, so it's pretty upfront. So yeah. be on the lookout for it. Yeah, definitely. So thank you very much for watching. Thank you, Raj. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We've got plenty more content where this came from, including, of course, BFI Flare coverage for 2023. So click on the playlist on the screen now, and we'll see you next time.